So, today I want to show you the string art set I made a while ago. With this video I would like to bring you closer to my art process. Let's begin. Usually, I start drawing a really bad looking sketch in Procreate. I mean, it doesn't matter, it's only to bring my idea down. I learned to draw sketches in university and I think this is the best way to start. I mean, string art is basically drawing with nail and thread. And for this you should define the look beforehand. In the second step I define my sketch a bit more and sometimes afterwards I create a vector based illustration. This is when I want to offer a design for everyone to DIY it at home. So everyone is able to recreate this cute set. If you're interested in doing this design head over to my website and there you can buy this pattern. But for now it's only in German available but hopefully coming soon in English too. Back to my process. I prepared two wooden boards with acrylic pouring. Within this part of preparation, I cutted the boards and grinded it. But for this I haven't any material to show it, sorry. <laughs> Most of the time, then you use varnish to give your board a certain look. And this also works as a protection for scratches and knocks. After preparation, it's time for the serious part. I print the design and use the Dremel to drill the holes for my nails. This does make it a lot easier to get the nails into the wooden boards. Also does it help to prevent it to break. And I have the feeling that the overall look is improved. I mean almost every nail is straight. Sometimes there's also black cheap but you can fix this easily with pliers. As mentioned here, I use acrylic pouring medium to create some more experimental background. I like the results so much that I struggled a long time on what to create on top of it. But some rest and a clear mind and a few months later I came to the day and night idea. The design of the sun and moon with the waves felt right in combination of the background, as both have some kind of flow. I decided to have the white on the top for the sun as it's like the sunrise and the opposite for the moon, kinda like the sunset. After hammering, it's time for the thread to build the final connection between the nails. This is sometimes the hardest part of all. As I am using very small bread nails instead of ones with heads, sometimes the thread don't want to lay on the side of the nail. It just slips over and this can cause to redo your progress, so you can't work too fast. But all beside, it's so fascinating to watch how the image of the sun and moon comes to life. For this set, I spent almost 3 to 4 hours of work. This is because of the drilling and the use of my thread. I mean, it's basically what you normally use for sewing. It's so thin that I need to lay up a minimum of 3, I call them rounds. With this, I mean the part I'm currently working on. The part from the first nail to the last and back to the start. Over the last years, I created a way of how I connect the nails with thread. I mean, there are a lot of different ways. You can only do a contour, 
zigzag or both to have a full line. Most people that do their full line are getting one side on the nails that looks bolder or stronger, as there is one layer more of thread. I had the same issue in the beginning, but I have acquired my own way to have a more even look. I mean, it isn't a really big issue, but it's only kind of taste. For now, I wouldn't say that I have my own style. Kind of like the typical, you need to have your own art style dilemma. I tried different things to get used to do stringers, but we will see if I develop my own style in the future. Normally, to finish up my stringer, I use acrylic paint to cover up the top of the nails. I'll choose matching colors to have a more solid look. This time I was impatient, so I did it after the sun was done and before I started with the moon. I really like to do this as it feels like doing the last touch to make the art. And this brings us to the end of my process. I'm excited to see what the future brings and maybe I can revisit this video to compare my process in some years with now. Will something change or is it going to be the same? We'll find out. I hope you like this kind of video. If you do, tell me in the comments how you create your art. Thanks for watching and we'll see us in the next video again. Bye!